Great to see you all again. Can we do something fun, Bucks? <laughs> mm hmm Yes, of course. We are going to look at the different rocks in space. Rocks in space? Are there lots of rocks there? And how did they get to space, Box? Well, shall we have a look? We're going to travel to space together in our very own rocket. Yeah, we're going into space! Why don't we start again with a fun guessing game? Sometimes a rock can fall from space and land on Earth. Can you guess which one of these rocks has come from space? Oh, the gold rock with the squares is beautiful. Is that it? No, that's called pyrite. You get that here on Earth. I like the blue one. <laughs> you always like the blue things the best. The blue one is lapis lazuli. It's also from Earth. Then it's the silver one in the middle. It looks very spacey. You're right. It's the middle one. This bit of rock fell to Earth from space. We call it a meteorite. A meteorite? From space? It's come a long, long way. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's what makes meteorites so interesting. There are many rocks in our solar system, and we call them asteroids. Aster what? Asteroids. They are large and small rocks that can be found in space, made from stone or metal. Do they all float around together in a circle? Yes. It's called an asteroid belt, a ring of space rocks that orbit around the sun. Why are there so many space rocks, Bucks? These space rocks are left over from when our solar system was created. All the planets were made from the dust and gas that orbited the sun. It's thought that there were all sorts of forces that pulled the rocks into the spot between Mars and Jupiter. Like the force of gravity from the enormous gas planet Jupiter. The rocks weren't able to clump together to form a planet. They stayed separate and kept orbiting around the sun, here between Mars and Jupiter. How do people know what aster asteroids look like? They have taken a close look at them. How did they do that? They used space probes. They are spacecrafts that don't have people in them. They orbited around the asteroids to get a closer look. A few space probes have even landed on an asteroid. Whoa, what have they done there? They studied everything, like what the rock is made of, and took photographs. They even took some bits of rock back to Earth. It looks like a planet there, but it's very bare. Some asteroids are nice and round. Just like a planet? Yes, they are called minor planets. There are some nice round asteroids floating around with the other rocks in the asteroid belt. They have strong forces of gravity that have pulled all the asteroid matter into a ball shape. Like a planet! Exactly! They're like planets, but quite a bit smaller. That's why we call them dwarf planets, like the planet Ceres in the asteroid belt. It looks a bit like the moon. 
and dwarf planets have also been discovered further away from the Sun, way past Jupiter and Neptune. Pluto is the one we know best. We used to call it a real planet, but now we know it is a dwarf planet. Because it's so small? Yes, because it's so small. It's smaller than our moon. Let's play a game. Can you guess what you can see here? Oh, yes, great! Let's see. Um, I see stars. A lot of stars. Yes, there's some more. Um, something white. Is it a cloud? No, it's not a cloud. It looks like fireworks. Oh, is it a shooting star? Uh, no, it's not a shooting star. Oh, um... Oh, I know! It's a comet! Yes, a comet! Yes, well done! This is a comet. A comet is also a kind of space rock, but it's a bit different from the ones in the asteroid belt. Comets make a wide, long orbit around the sun. They are made of ice and dust. Sometimes they are called dirty snowballs. <laughs> yes, they look a bit like a snowball. A comet moves very slowly, so if one appears, you can see it in the sky for days. Do the snowballs not melt then? That's a good point, Toby. The melting is what we sometimes see. Comets make a long journey around the sun. Sometimes they are far away from the sun and they freeze up. After a while, they get closer to the sun. And then they melt! You're right! The ice evaporates into a trail of dust. It looks like the comet's tail. If you're lucky, you may see a shooting star. A streak of light that shoots across the sky. Do you know what shooting stars really are? Are they very fast comets? Are they stars that fall from the sky? Or are they rocks burning in the Earth's atmosphere? Um, it's not a star because they don't really fall. <laughs> and a comet is very slow. You're right. Yes, well done. A shooting star is a bit of rock that reaches the Earth's atmosphere at great speed. It burns as it moves, and we call that a meteor. A meteor goes very fast, so you are lucky if you see one. That's a beauty. Have you ever seen a shooting star, Bucks? Yes, a few times. There are some nights when we can see a lot of shooting stars. <laughs> And you have to stay up late to see them. Yeah! Oh, beautiful! Like fireworks! Yes, aren't they beautiful? Fireworks from space! If the rock doesn't burn up completely, and part of it lands on Earth, we call it a meteorite. <laughs> then it shouldn't fall on your head! <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's not very likely, Toby. Most meteors burn away completely in Earth's atmosphere. Still, there are a lot of meteors that fall to Earth every year. Most of them are so small that no one notices them, or they fall in a place where nobody lives. And we only know them because of the crater they've made. Oh, I'd love to find one of those rocks from space. Of course. Scientists love to find them too. It's very interesting to study what they are made of and discover what is flying around space. Shall we go back home? Then I can go and look for meteorites. Yes, me too. <laughs> well, you'll have to have a good look. But we'll come back to space soon, won't we, Box? Yes, of course. We'll come back again soon. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye, space. See you soon. <laughs> Did you like it too, Peppa? Yes! That was a great journey through space. And do you remember all the things you learned? Um... Oh! Ooh. 
the asteroid belt is full of rocks that float in space. They are called asteroids or minor planets. There are also some nice round minor planets. They are called dwarf planets, just like Pluto. A comet goes around the sun and has a bright long tail. And a meteorite is a space rock that has fallen on Earth. Woohoo! Well, wasn't that a great journey? Yes, and next time we'll go there. Or there, or there. <laughs> yes. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. See you all next time. Goodbye. Bye, Toby. Bye, Pepper. Bye, Box the Bear.